Welcome. Good morning. We're just here trying to function because our brains exploded Sunday night. Here are seven oh my god moments the ET team had as the Taylor Swift Kim Kardashian drama unfolded. I made that famous. Number one, when we realized Sunday's entire up of keeping up with the Kardashians was pretty much all about the Taylor Kanye stuff. My advice is that you give Taylor a call and try to make amends. Thank you for your lovely advice, but I'm not going to take it. The episode roughly started with Kim shooting her GQ cover and ended with the magazine already out. The GQ that's sitting right there? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Quite the time jump. Number two, of course, when Kim leaked parts of Taylor and Kanye's convo on her Snapchat as we were watching. People, it was American history unfolding before our very eyes. This also made us think about just how many Snapchat followers Kim would probably get out of the whole thing. She even tweeted, do you guys follow me on Snapchat? You really should. Interesting. Number four, when Taylor responded using, of all things, the Notes app. And I'll write your name. Tay made some valid points and seemed to be saying that her biggest issue was with Kanye calling her the B word. Next is when we looked more closely at Taylor's statement and realized she might have written it long ago. Look at what the back option is there, the word search. So Taylor might have had to look for this write-up in her phone. <laughs> Okay, now we have so many questions. Like, how long ago did Taylor find out that she'd been recorded? Reminder, Kim told GQ she wasn't sure how Taylor found out, but claimed that Taylor's legal team sent a letter saying the footage should never surface. And next, when we fully grasped the scope of this timeline. Guys, this all really started back in 2009. I'm gonna let you finish, but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Again, these are mile markers in American history. And our last OMG moment was when we saw the hashtag Kim exposed Taylor party was trending on Twitter. Just days ago, we had the hashtag Taylor is over party after all of her ex Calvin Harris's tweets. So ultimately, do you think Sunday night hurt Taylor's image? Do you think Taylor's Instagram statement was enough to counteract any bad publicity? Let me know on Twitter. I want to hear your thoughts. I'm at Lauren Zemo.